Good morning, all you cool kid talkers in the back of the room. Guess what? We're live streaming, so you have to sit down and be quiet. Shh, shh, shh. Yeah, this is um, a special show. I'm going to do a proper welcome momentarily, but y'all should know that we are live streaming. That means you're being recorded, um, and we want you to like enjoy, engage, uh, make some noise. We think that's awesome, and also just generally behave like you're on camera, because you are, because these guys are amazing. Um, they're making you look really good. Um, thanks a ton to Frostline Studios and to our tech crew. For now, I'm Marion Call. Uh, I know some of you. I don't know some of you. I'm up from Juneau, but I lived in Anchorage for 10 years. It's a ple ple pleasure and a privilege to be here. Um, and I just want to start by saying that um, I had the opportunity about a month ago to represent Alaska at the National Music Policy Forum, which was really cool. We hadn't quite done that in that way before. And my favorite part of the challenge was getting up to tell people everything about Alaska music in seven minutes who had never been here. And the very first thing, the only thing I could say was, you cannot understand the music Alaskans make unless you understand that all of us are connected to the land and to the seasons in a way like nowhere else experiences, nowhere else I've ever been. Whether you've been here for a day or whether your folks have been here for 15,000 years, our connection to the land is part of what makes our music special, the music of place. Um, I want to start, of course, by acknowledging and thinking about and being grateful for the land that we're on right now, which is Denina land. Um, and we are proud and pleased to be broadcasting from here statewide. I'm so happy to be broadcasting back home to Tlingit Ani, the Aquanatakuquan territory, also known as Juno. Um, this is an incredible place, and we are so grateful to be here. This day is going to be grounded in talking about how we make music in this place, which affects everything about how we make music, from the economics to the spiritual aspects. Um, I'd like to welcome a huge welcoming crew, and there's a reason we welcome everybody so well, and it's because this helps us know where we are and why we're here. <laughs> so, Ingle, go ahead. Yeah, grab them, grab them. We're doing very fast welcomes all at once, so. <laughs> Hello, and welcome again for <laughs> to both the people in the, yeah, there you go. Welcome to the fifth statewide Alaska Music Summit. Uh, to all of you who are here in the room and to all of you who are Zooming uh, in to see uh, us online. Thank you so much for being here. We're looking forward to it. My name is Ingvild Vattenguttu, and I don't ask you to repeat that after me, but that is my name. I run Northern Culture Exchange, and I co uh, coordinate with uh, Akimi with Marion and our team and we're just wanting to say that we're incredibly happy to see that all of you appreciate the work that's being done and I want to just thank the whole team and uh, Akimi and NCE for all the amazing work that has been done up to this moment and beyond. Thank you. Hello everyone, it is an honor to be here uh, representing the Nave Spinard on behalf of Cook Inlet Housing Authority. My name is RJ Fontaine McKendry. I am the Nave Manager and Community Engagement Coordinator in service of the Nave Spinard. Um, we are home to a number of amazing creative artists and organizations of which Northern Culture Exchange is one of them. Uh, Ingville, Akimi, uh, Spinard Jazz Fest, uh, so many amazing musicians, all ages music co-op. These are just a few of the programs Anchorage Youth Orchestras, who have called this place home over the past year and beyond. So um, it is an honor um, and a privilege that Alaska Music Summit has chosen this space again uh, to share ideas. That is what the NAVE is about, connecting our people with ideas, uh, whether that be in the nonprofit sector, whether you are in healthcare, whether you are in the arts. We need everyone in order to raise our community up and to celebrate all the talent that is here. So thank you, each and every one of you, for being here today, sharing your talent. Uh, your expertise and your desire to invest in our community. Uh, and thank you to Marion and Engvall for putting this on. All right. Hey, good morning, everybody. On behalf of the municipality of Anchorage, I'd like to uh, welcome you all to Anchorage. Uh, my name is Assemblymember George Martinez. I represent District 5, which is east side. Holla. Um, 
It's good to be with you all today. Uh, I, I believe in the creative economies. I believe in building the music ecosystem. And as a traveling artist and a touring artist in my past life, uh, I believe in the, the connection between our region. And I had the chance to travel to Boise uh, with Marion uh, to the Music Policy Forum with the chair of the assembly as well. So we're bringing those connections back. And I look forward to doing that work. But I just wanted to leave it on this note as well. This this is the MLK weekend, and our community has a bridge builder history. And for those who don't know, we have an organization of the bridge builders, but it's in the spirit of building the beloved community. And there was a vision that Anchorage could be the first community without prejudice. And I just want you to just make the connection between music, the soulfulness of, of the ecosystem that we have to build, and the opportunity for justice and advancing real positive change in our community. And it all starts for me with a beat. Thank you all. Good morning, my name is Laura Forbes. I'm the Arts Education Program Director at the Alaska State Council on the Arts, and I'm so grateful to be here with you today. I want to acknowledge that some of you may be um, uh, already in conversation or relationship with my colleagues at the Alaska State Council on the Arts, Charlie Sears, Patty Lilly, Andrea Noble, and our 11 um, council trustees. Um, we are all grateful to you for I am grateful to be invited. I am grateful to all of you for accepting the invitation to come and join this conversation today and the ongoing conversations year over year. Inside my brain, when I get to attend these things, there are these like visual threads of light and color and joy and relationship and connection and repair and building that I sometimes think I can actually physically see in the room. I know sometimes it feels like in the chaos and transition and cycles that move too slow or too fast as we were talking about before, those threads that you build over these couple of days help us move forward together in a way that makes a lot of sense. And I wanna say how grateful I am to the organizers of this event and everybody supporting it being able to happen statewide because it is no small feat to make space and hold space for us to be able to stop and do this. So thank you so much and I'm so grateful to be here. Um, okay, those are tough acts to follow, but... <laughs> My name is Timmy Dolan. Um, I am the um, project manager from the Pacific Northwest chapter of the Recording Academy. So our chapter covers Washington, Oregon, Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, Alaska, Hawaii, and Western Canada. So as you can hear, we are one of the most geographically and musically and people diverse of chapters, I believe, within the Academy. Now, the Academy, I think most people are familiar with um, them for putting on the Grammy Awards, but we are actually an organization who works um, year round in support of musicians and creators. And so I'm based in Seattle. I represent the members that make up um, the professionals, the creators, the students who are part of the member body across all of those states. Um, our organization also works to advocate for legislation that supports creators and musicians. And we have um, a nonprofit arm that is there to support music creators called Music Cares. And that's something that's available to all. You know, <laughs> that's something that's available to all. We um, Music Cares is something that can offer um, financial support, medical support, addiction recovery support. And um, it's something that's accessible to you as a music creator in this room. So I'm so honored to be here. Um, thank you so much to Marion and everyone in this organization. Thank you to the Alaska music community for being so welcoming. I'm here to listen and learn. And um, please come up and introduce yourself. And I look forward to meeting all of you. Thank you. Yeah, just put it right there. 
I also want to mention this is Timmy's first time in Alaska, so everyone make her feel super welcome. <laughs> <laughs>